Hello replay viewers, my name is Nicole with LadyPreferstoSave.com and if you find this scope interesting or usable, I'd love it if you'd share it out with your followers, leave us some heart love, and tap that little Perry guy down at the bottom and follow us. Okay. Want to do it? Orange one. Okay. Hi everybody, my name is Nicole again with Lady Prefers to Save and since it's Earth Day, I thought I would show you some of my favorite things in my kitchen and my home that are reusable and green and eco-friendly and just show you kind of what we're using these days to uh, kind of leave a smaller footprint. So the first thing that I absolutely love is from Carrywell and this is our eco bag organizer. And the cool thing about this is that if you're in store, especially if you have kids and things, it has a strap that you can actually attach to the inside of your cart. And inside of it comes six full-size reusable bags. And then, as you can see inside of here, if you have wine bottles or if you're doing tear carrying and you're just taking like a mason jar to refill it in store, you can actually put it in the bag. And it came with two reusable produce bags. So this is one of my go-to um, products for in-store because we don't use the plastic bags from the store and a lot of times when you're not using them you actually will get a percentage off of your um, ticket like what is it like a nickel or a dime at Target for example if you don't use their bags and bring your own so that's really cool and I love these produce bags they're really easy to wash and I really like them. Okay something else. Cupcake liners. Silicone cupcake liners. We use the Carrywell um, from the same company because a portion of the proceeds goes to Rainforest Relief and goes to Greenpeace, so that's why we use these as well. And from the same company, stainless steel straws. I love these. These are super easy to clean. They're really easy for the dishwasher or hand washing them. And not having to have plastic straws is something that's really important to me. It's just every little step to not have one more thing in the landfill and I live in Mississippi and it's hotter than Hades here in the summer and I drink at least four or five drinks every single morning in the summer especially ice water so I definitely use my straws quite a bit and this is one of my really favorite ones these are Keevan light bulbs these are completely recycled and they're in vintage style like the original Edison bulbs and these are super neat. I don't know if you all can see that. They look like little sprockets in them and they're really, really cool. And they last actually longer than the, uh, what do they call Daniel, the LCD, the, the greener bulbs, the ones that are kind of like a the corkscrew. Spiral bulbs, the spiral yeah. bulbs, yeah. They last twice as long as those and the packaging is also recycled, so. That's something I really like. Okay. These are my go-to sponges. I actually get these at TJ Maxx. And I don't know if you can see that. These are made out of recycled nylon products. Um, they're a little bit pricier at about a dollar a sponge. But they last through a thousand washings. You can actually bleach them or put them in the dishwasher or anything else. And I really, really like these. They also, part of the proceeds to these, these are called... They're called Relief Sponge, Relief Sponge, and part of the proceeds goes to um, schools for those that are hearing and sight impaired. So this is really important just to kind of give back a portion of the proceeds. And this is also from Carrywell, the first company. This is something I really like because I don't plug in a lot of things and I still need kind of security lights around our house. So I love that these are solar lights little clips so I can put them outside let them charge during the day and then put them wherever I may be able to go outside like on the um, the hood of our gas grill or around a door or around like a toy or something that you need to access at night and the cool thing is you can kind of control how bright you want them and they can even turn into kind of like a book light and they take less than 45 minutes to fully charge with the two cells 
and then you can put that anywhere. And these cost under $8 on Amazon, also carry well. Let's see. Oh, uh, PowerMate. Okay. This is one of my favorite, favorite reusable gadgets because these are specifically made for Apple products. It takes about four or five hours to charge this up, but this one little small clip that I put outside and charge can charge two iPhones, an iPad, and a cell, uh, and a laptop mm -hmm. within three or four hours. Completely solar, right? Completely solar. So this is something I don't have to pay to charge my gadgets. This was under $10. This is PowerMate on Amazon. These are awesome. These are great for people to travel. You just need it in your purse. And if you're not using them, they actually have a four or five days standby. So if you need to use it later on, but here, especially since most of the year, it's very, very hot and very, very sunny. I can put these in a front bed within a few hours. This is charged and I'm good to go for the day. Now, um, something else, probably not, you know, reflective of guys watching, but ladies, Period mate. I know a lot of people like the mama cloth. I kind of prefer the period mates because they um, recycled materials, double fleece. These last and last, and I have never had any stains. This is actually a new one, but these don't stain even on the white fabric. They come out simple washing. They even come out in cold rinse. And this keeps a lot of materials, especially in your time of the month, out of the landfill. And that is super, super important because, as you know, plastic is not going to completely break down. And that's one way I can really help lower my footprint. And then, made from recycled tires, Pixie Cups. They are not completely silicone. They are mostly rubber. They come in a couple different sizes, and again, on your period, these are very important. Help lessen that footprint, and these cost, I want to say $12.99 on Amazon shipped with Prime, and compare that to the cost over time of tampons and pads and overnight pads. This is one month's purchase that will last you literally years. They're not going to buy it a great. They're customizable, they have a large and a small size, and you are really gonna significantly see a lot less trash going out of your house just by having this. One quick question, um, as far as using those, mm -hmm. any, any advice on some of the, some of the ladies were kind of a little uh, uncomfortable with some of that, so maybe? Um, I actually find the pads a lot more comfortable than, say, Kotex pads. They're not as thick. Um, they're natural fibers, and the thing is, if you're at it, all, my um, a family friend who is an internalist stated to me, and this was on his advice, not to use pads or Kotex, especially if you're trying to conceive or you're postpartum, etc., because they have over 21 different chemicals, particularly formaldehyde, which is carcinogenic. And that's really not something that you want to be putting on your reproductive system. It's not something you want in any kind of gland region. And for that reason alone, I don't, I don't use traditional pads. I'm never going to go back to doing that. Even when I was an extreme couponer, I use these. I don't like the other. I don't like the idea of putting all those chemicals on your body. As for the cups, there's a learning curve to them and you really need to get the right size. Sometimes you need to trim the stem or find a different brand that's going to work best for you. But again, you're not putting chemicals into your body. And just, just a, another statistic that I was told by that family friend and the physician, the increase of ovarian and cervical cancer in women in the last decade has tripled. These are also... Um, these are cancers that are not detected early are fatal cancers. These aren't things that you can just, you know, have a little bit of treatment and see how it's going to go, like a lot of esophageal, mouth cancers. These are things that by the time that you notice something's wrong, by the time that you know this is not a cyst and this is a tumor, it could potentially put you in stage three or four cancer, and that's not something that I want to chance my mother-in-law 
Um, she's a cancer survivor, reproductive cancer. My mother had breast cancer um, and reproductive cancers, and she was also a survivor. And there were ladies in my family who were not. So that's something that's very important to me. And I just think it's really simple to find something that works best for you. But knowing that the industry willingly puts these products in women and young women's homes and in their carts and by their bodies is just something I'm personally not comfortable with and I would recommend that you really research that because that's obviously a very sensitive issue but it is equally important. On to something a little less grotesque. <laughs> um, I freaking love these bags. These are called the Bright Saver bags. I'm a little prejudiced. I studied in France. Um, I live in France in my early 20s. Um, I was an exchange student in my teens as well, and so anything Parisian, I tend to, to gravitate towards it. But when I saw these at TJ Maxx, I didn't buy them the first time because since becoming debt-free with Dave Ramsey, I tend to hesitate purchasing anything and I go home and research it. But when we did eventually go back to purchase these, I loved these Smiley brand bags. The proceeds of these go for educational research um, and they also fund a lot of programs especially for girls in school especially dealing with stem and math programs and i love that and the fact they're made out of recycled materials and as a mom as a wife you gotta love the fact they are wax lined these are waterproof stain proof bags you could put things from the beach you could put liquids you could put lunch you could put anything in this and it is not going to leak out and you can completely wash these with a sponge. They also come standard because of the material and the recycled jute. They are naturally antimicrobial and these are under $5. These are carried at every TJ Maxx and Marshall store and part of the proceeds go to charity. Love these bags. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, okay, store home recycled material pillows. Some of them help um, indigenous farmers and fair trade. These are all fair trade. These are made out of recycled materials and I love it. Tells me to eat kale. Gotta like it. And they wash off. I have another one for my armchair in my room. Love these. Okay. These bags from Sam's Club, these are also smiley bags. These are carried at Sam's, they carry them at Costco, BJ's. Um, they are made out of recycled uppers, recycled rubber bottoms, they are fully insulated. And part of the proceeds for these also go to fair trade programs um, to help indigenous farmers, especially in the cocoa and coffee industry. So that's really important to me knowing that the food that I'm purchasing in bags help the people that help manufacture those foods. So ethically sourced bags and in mass retail, it's usually a fluke and these are awesome. These are under $8. And the reason I have three of them is because again, I live in such a hot climate, just going from the store to coming home in a half hour, a lot of your produce and your chicken and things might get warm. So these have lasted us all day Saturday shopping for several years. These bags are five years old and they look brand new and I love them. Let's see. Okay. Now, I have a collection of tote bags. Again, I do not use plastic bags from the store. And these, I don't know if anybody's ever seen these bags. These are from a company called Out of Print and they are bags from public entity books, things on the on the public record, if you will, famous literature like Pride and Prejudice. There's another Pride and Prejudice with the famous Mr. Darcy quote. Let's see, what is it? In vain I struggle with no more. My feelings will not be repressed. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. Um, Alice in Wonderland, Little Women. These are recycled jute and canvas bags. These are a little bit pricey. They range from $10 to $20 a piece. But half of the proceeds from those bags, and they're sold all over the place, go to the Save the Music Foundation and help with 
the National Public Endowment to buy books for libraries, which is something very near and dear to me. And I love the fact that literature-based bags are helping to buy books for children. Now, the last, and certainly not least, this is my 1940s pie safe that I love so dearly in my kitchen. Um, I restored it, I did DIY chalk paint. I got this for under $25. It's appraised for about $500. But the cool thing, it houses my collection of vintage mason jars. I don't make a habit of using plastic. I'm trying to like move towards glass. Um, my husband and I got married many, many moons ago. Um, a very wonderful friend in our community that we actually met off FreeCycle, Miss Evelyn, who's an amazing, amazing maker and artist who is a retired school teacher who gifted us a lot of vintage jars. I don't know if you can see this well. It's an Atlas Easy Seal jar from the 1940s. And this is another Atlas jar from the 1950s. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's Atlas and it actually has a, a four leaf clover. And this is from their line that only people that retired from their company got these. So someone in her family would have gotten them and I love that she gave those to us. And half gallon uh, vintage blue jars and those I've purchased the gallon jars and a lot more of the Atlas ones. But I love being able to see all my stuff and even my Pioneer Woman cookie jar and my cookies um, and cookbooks, but mason jars. That is my, one of my absolute passions. I love them. I love glass jars. I love collecting them. And to me, even as a minimalist, it is worth the space. They can be a drink vessel. They can hold salads. I make parfaits in them. I can put leftovers in them. And depending... Um, on what's inside, there's very little cleanup. They can be used indefinitely. Compared to previous years as a newlywed, every Black Friday I would go to Walmart because they would have a $4, like a big container of Rubbermaid plastic dishes and lids, and by mid-year, they were gone. They were either stained with pasta or they were misshapen or they were lost or, I don't know, they just went someplace and we didn't have them. And it dawned on me one day, why not use the mason jars? I was collecting them. I didn't really have anything in them. And I absolutely love them. I love getting beans on sale and kind of using them decoratively. I like that I can pre-mix laundry detergent. I like that all of my stuff is out and anybody can come in, and anybody in my family, if they want chocolates or they want to cook something. Even my cinnamon sticks and my blue jars. I mean, I just absolutely love them and they're so pretty and they're so easy. And I think the more and more that I do recyclable things, the more I look into reducing my green, I mean, increasing green space and lowering my carbon footprint, it's helped me in other ways in my life since eating gluten-free foods, um, decreasing sodas, um, decluttering my house becoming debt-free and doing these steps, I've lost 47 pounds. I have increased the time that I have um, for my family. I've increased work productivity. And now I have more time to doing blogging. It's not just a hobbyist thing. It's something that I'm transitioning to full-time. And while this stuff doesn't seem to play into that, it really does. These are no-brainer things. I don't have to think about my bags. My pillows stay clean. My houseware is where it needs to be. And they're not broken and they're not misshapen and they're always there and it's dependable. And I like the tactileness of reusable goods because they make me happy. They make me feel that my purchase power means something and is important. And especially Earth Day. I mean, it really should be an everyday thing, but Growing up in the late 80s and the early 90s, where every single thing was disposable, where you didn't think twice about cleaning one's room and throwing everything in the trash and not really caring where it went and as being a homeowner and seeing that it goes somewhere and it impacts communities and it disrupts 
wildlife and it pollutes the soil and I don't want to be a part of that. I just don't. I want to be able to leave something better than I found it and I believe that you know we're not advancing the environment we're borrowing it from our children and it's not something that I want to give back to them worse than what I found it's something very important to me it means a lot to me and uh, I hope that you all will look into some more reusable products and think about these things and really understand how impactful this could be in your own home, in your own community. Even just a few $10 purchases can make a big difference overall. And I hope you all had a great Earth Day and have a wonderful weekend. Thanks guys.